to five kilograms. And then, you know, it's just rotating and it's an abrasive yes. uh, removal of the outer layers of the grain. So it's, that's decorticate. Decorticate it. You can yes. call it debranding also. Yes. And then it gets made into flour? Yeah. If they wash it, they have to wash it. Yeah. Dry so for a little while on this, uh, uh, just for on the dry, so we have a solar dryer behind. Yes. You see it. And later on, they bring it and uh, grind it. This is grinder. That's a, ha that's a hammer. Move. Hammer me. Okay. And traditionally, this would all be done by, by, uh, hand. by hand with a mortar, mortar and uh, pestle. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. right. The decorticating yeah. is done by mortar and pestle. And then, just the same way, just similar kind of thing. It removes the outer layer. It's not quite as efficient as yeah. this, but then it's, uh, and then it's pounded to flour. Mm -hmm. that but is there a, is, isn't there a part where you said they just soak it first? Is it, is this brought up to a moisture content? Is it interpreted? Yes, the grain will, the grain has to be dried. In town they have no, a but I mean for the decor. No, it's dried. It's dry. So when do they soak it, you said? No, oh, like uh, after the deportication. When they finish to deporticate, yes. they just to get lighter color product. It's to get all the brand part off. Of they the wash it. Yes, they wash it. Yeah, there's still a little fine, you know, particles of okay. brand that are then washed off. Yes. Then dried. Because otherwise yes. you get, right. um, so if you do this really carefully, like I was saying last night with a really good, like the hybrid that yes. we use, Mad One, you can get a creamy white product, but even if not that, you want a lighter kind of product. And bran will, it has phenolic compounds that when that's cooked, they're oxidized and there's a color change along with that. Okay. And it will, can turn dark brown, dark reddish brown. And even. that makes it undesirable, just less appealing to people? Yeah. But it's not a nutritional problem, is it? No. Or taste? No. Uh, Taste? Is there a taste yeah, change? Test, with yes. That? Sometimes it may affect the taste. Like some people, if it is not washed, they may say that they feel the brown, the brown taste. Yes. Uh -huh. On so their some tongue. people may not like it. Uh -huh. So usually we just try to see, like the, the traditional process they use, and it may vary from region to region or country to country, because sometimes they just grind directly uh -huh. the whole grain in some places. They decorticate it first. Yeah, yeah some mostly places, we decorticate. Yeah. Better, oh. some but sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. Yeah, mostly, mostly they decorticate yes. traditionally. Yes. Um, but then there's some groups that don't do that. Okay. But most the traditional traditionally, what would you say is the percentage of people who, who decorticate yes. Yes. it and sorghum? It would be like, like eighty, like eighty yes. ninety yes. percent of the people who you know this is in the past and present. Uh -huh. Who consume, you know, in the rural areas, they consume sorghum meal that they decorticate first. Okay. Maybe only 10% would use a whole grain. Okay. And that's typically just done in the mortar and pestle. So that's when they say that it takes all day to prepare a meal, that's because they're threshing it, then they're decorticating it, then they're washing it, and then they're drying it, then they're grinding it into flour, and then they're doing something with the flour. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Would they traditionally, would they wash the grain after decor, after, in the pounding yes. process, would they then traditionally wash the grain before pounding it to flour? Uh, or is that just something that you do? Yes, they do it usually. They do it also. Before doing the 